stuff share the videos We're growing people will growing i'm really happy about that the channel is growing. i got two videos doing well the one is at like 25k the other one is at like 36k they're both fine which is nice i'm hoping that the one that's at 36 gets to 50 because you know if you watched some of my earlier videos, like the ones I dropped last week, one of them I dropped last week or something like that, I said a new goal I have is to get a video that crosses 50,000. So it would be, be nuts if I, if I hit, hit that target. So yeah. I am going to get a video that crosses 50,000 views. And then we're going to get 100,000. And then from there, we're gonna start averaging like 20,000 per video. Crazy, but doable. From there, we're gonna start averaging 20,000 per video. And just going up, keep going up, and up, and up, and up, and up. By the way, update on that situation I told you about <laughs> with that girl that I was texting and we were, we're talking about butts, and um, she mentioned her butt and how it's not, you know, it's not the biggest butt in the world, but it's nice, it's doing its job. And, you know, I kind of dismissed it. I, I, I wasn't really... I was. I, I guess I was supposed to pay a compliment in the moment, and I didn't. I just made some joke where I was just like, oh, just eat more food. <laughs> and then she went quiet. And I was wondering, like, why is she quiet? Because I thought the joke was funny and innocent. She was quiet for a few days, and I think yesterday she finally responded. Um... She responded to some meme I'd sent her, some no, some video I'd sent her, some funny video, but she didn't respond to everything else I had said. So I was like, because I, I, yeah, I, I'd sent other texts that required a response and she just ignored them. So I was like, yeah, she's definitely upset about something. So, you know, just to see what would happen, I said, you know, I said, you, you got a nice butt. 
I just said that. I lit that literally all I said is that you got a nice butt. And then she was like, oh, it took you three days to say that. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, bro. Because <laughs> I thought maybe she's quiet because she's busy, you know? Maybe she's like not responding because she's just busy with life and whatever. And it turns out she was upset at me. She was like, oh, my confidence is crushed now. Da, 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 da. Speak of the devil, she just texted me just now. But anyway, um, I said she's got a nice, but you know, I was hesitant to say it just because uh, what is she saying? Let me check what this person is saying. I was hesitant to say that because you know, I feel like you you cross a line once you. It's 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 sexual. It's like you're talking about each other's butts and stuff. And <laughs> oh my! I wanted to refrain from going there, but now she, I was like, oh man, if I don't if I don't say this, I think she's. Ah. Anyway, I get anxiety just because I want to make the right choice with regards to, like, who I um, get romantic with and stuff. I like this girl, but, you know, I'm just not sure if we have that much in common. I'm not sure. But as a... A friend of mine just said, just get to know her, dude. Just just spend time getting to know her. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, it does give me anxiety. Because, yeah, you know, in my view, you don't get a lot of attempts at this sort of stuff. And once you're in something, it's hard to get out of it. So you want to make sure you're making the right decisions. I don't want to be in this position where I... I uh, move things along and we, we make progress and we get involved with each other and then I realize, ah, this was a mistake. You don't want to do that. You don't want to waste your time. You don't want to waste your time. So, yeah. And I definitely do think there is something between us. I don't think it's just uh, platonic. And that's why I was hesitant to compliment her her cheeks because I was like there's already something between I can feel it I know it I know there's something between us and I just didn't want to cross that line I just didn't because <laughs> then you, you just you you just you just move even deeper you know what I'm saying you, you just uh, so I don't know too. I don't know. I wanted to give myself more time to like um, meet more people and really figure out. You know, the prayer I really figure out who's right for me. The prayer I pray now it's like I say Lord please make sure that I only end up with the person that's right for me please make sure that if she's not right for me you you somehow some way just make that thing fall apart that relationship fall apart make sure it doesn't even begin like I don't even like it doesn't yeah like if um, if I like a girl but she's not right for me just make sure that that relationship doesn't even begin like get her out of there Somehow, some way, that's what I pray. So that I only end up with like the right person. <laughs> that's just how I think, man. I, I don't wanna I don't wanna get into like unnecessary flings and all that stuff. I've, I've done that before. I'm tired, man. I'm tired of just getting into stuff for the sake of getting into stuff. 
I just want to meet the right girl and then I'll go all in. I'll, I'll like, I'll like, you know, I'll, I'll be like so invested and I'll pour my all into it. But I wanted to be the right girl. I'm just not sure about this one. Um, part of me. Part of me likes her, part of me is not 100% sure. Like, I'm just like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, off in, off out. When we spend time together, like in person, there's always something there, but yeah, I still have my doubts. Maybe I'm just indecisive. <laughs> Maybe I'm just. Uh, But yeah, like I said, like, um, you only get one shot at this. For me, divorce is not an option. And once you're married, you're married. So I just want to make sure that I pick the right person. And I don't want to waste time. I don't want to entertain women that uh, I just know that we're not going to work. This girl is so different for me, just in terms of our interests and uh, our backgrounds and stuff. But you know, someone actually said in a comment, uh, shout out to you if you're watching this, I can't remember what the username was. She was talking about her and her boyfriend and how they compliment each other. So she, she makes up for the things he lacks and he makes up for the things she likes and they, they kind of fit together that way. So maybe, you know, maybe instead of having someone that's similar to me, if you have someone that kind of makes up for the things that you don't have, Personality-wise, maybe that's the most ideal situation. I don't know, dude. I don't know. <laughs> I just know that uh, I'm, I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm praying. Lord, please, like, nuke the relationship if it's not meant to be. No, nuke it into oblivion. Like, I, I don't care. Like, I don't want to be in any unnecessary relationship. I don't want us to be with the wrong person. I just don't want it. <laughs> oh, man. But I'll give this girl a chance and see what's, what's there. You never know, man. You don't want to block your blessings. You don't want to block your blessings. So I'll I'll spend time with her. Let's see what's up. And see what's up. Let me swap. I can't use this. I want to spray, but I, look like my my hand sanitizer. But I can't use this one because this one is ink inside it. So if I spray it, the ink is just gonna start running down. this point now that I've said what I've said about her but I feel like what, what, what should I say should uh, I don't know should I should I just be like what should we start going on dates now what what I feel like we've just crossed the line <laughs> oh, some people might say I'm overthinking this but I'm like what? What are we doing? Like, what are we doing here? I, I feel it would be so weird to just keep, keep on going as if we're friends. And that's all that this is. I might, mean, look, we might as well not waste any time. We might as well just stop being real about what's going on here. Because I know for a fact. 
that she's thinking about it. I don't know. If you can't tell me she's not. I know, I know her. We spent time together. I know that. It's not just purely a friendship. I, I, I have a strong sense for that. That's the, that's the vibe of it. If I'm wrong about this, bro, I don't know anything then. I don't, I don't know anything about anything because. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so many indicators that <sighs> we like each other. Um, but yeah, like, so I'm just like, what? Well, at this point, I'm thinking maybe I should just, I don't know, just call it what it is, and 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 and, and, uh, and ask her out like to a date, <sighs> and then see what happens from there. Oh man, that's such a that's such a big step though. It's a massive step. By the way, I found out that YouTube takes 30% tax from my payments, which is insane. 30%? The more money you earn, the bigger that amount is. It hurts, man. 30% is crazy. This month, I earned uh, the most I've ever earned on this platform. I've, I've, it was a great month. And I get paid on the 23rd of every month. And they process... It gets it gets uh paid into my YouTube AdSense account on like the twelfth of of every month and then on the twenty third is when the money reflects in my bank account. So anyway, this past month according to how they count the days has been uh very good compared to my previous months. But they're taking thirty percent. And I was just calculating how much I'm gonna have left over. I was like, damn. I was like, wow, that's a lot of money that you're taking. So it's very upsetting. Uh, I was just saying that just because I was thinking, like, if I take this girl out on a date once I get paid, how much am I going to have left over for other stuff? And I was like, oh, my God, if only they hadn't taken the 30% tax, man. No. I stopped the video by mistake. I always think long term like what does she look like as my wife that's how i think because that's the goal right just get married have kids i always think about can i envision her as a wife can i envision her as a mother to my children yada 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 and i guess i still need to get to know her a bit more um yeah you know what else is an issue like we have, we have mutual circles so like if things don't work out there's <laughs> you, you you hope that things end like amicably and you're friendly still so that if things don't work out you can still be uh, like, like just 
chums and you don't have to like exit the circles you're in or like one of you has to leave at least it's, it's, gonna, be, it's gonna be too awkward otherwise seeing that person all the time so you know so that's a little risk as well Part of me wants to like just travel, dude. Go to different parts of the world. Maybe meet someone that way. That's what part of me is like hoping for. But then, you know, the issue is the thing about this girl that's nice is that we share the same faith. We're both Christian and like, um, We have some core alliances in terms of our values, alignments, and uh, there's a saying: a bird, a bird in, in the hand is better than two in the bush. Which means you don't want to ab abandon a good thing in 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 in, in search of hypotheticals. Like this, these imaginary women that you don't know, that don't actually exist, and you're hoping that you can go out there and meet some girl, and and then you leave behind like an actual girl <laughs> that uh, you're with. Um, so you know, so it's important to keep that in mind. There's no guarantee that if you if you just venture out and find a partner elsewhere that you will find a partner you know it's not guaranteed it's not guaranteed at all but yeah i think i'll just keep getting to know her the, the, the question is do i make that move and just just be straight up and be like, yeah, let's go out on a let's go out on a date. Let's let's stop pretending. Let's stop pretending. Let's stop acting. Let's just go on a date and call this what this is. Being uh, being romantic. Hmm. I might have to do that still. here i think i've said enough i think i've said enough let me know what you think in the comments i actually don't want to know what anyone thinks like, some people are gonna be like you're overthinking i don't want to hear it um uh, what emoji should you drop if you need to end drop a heart emoji you know we're talking about love we're talking about relationships drop a heart emoji if you <laughs> made it to the end Drop a heart emoji if you made it to the end. You're not at the prayer at the end of my videos. Just in part, peace and blessing. Dear Father God, thank you for this individual watching this right now. Thank you for making them whole and unique and guiding them on a path towards peace, prosperity, and purpose, purpose, purpose. Thank you for blessing this individual with wonderful people that love them and take care of them, being the absolute best out of them. And thank you for maintaining the ones that are there to, to, to do the same thing. Thank you for blessing this person with spiritual gratitude so they can give thanks for all the wonderful things in their life. And by giving thanks, they can find peace, contentment, and attract even more blessings. Thank you for... Letting your presence be found in this person's life so they know that you're God, that you're real, that you love them, you're always going to be there for them. Good health, long life, and happiness over this person and everyone they care about. And your mind and your brain, Jesus, and your brain, Jesus, and your brain, Jesus, and your brain, Amen, Amen, Amen.